Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope all of you guys are doing well. So we finally made it to the last of the Scary Movie films, and I'm going to be reviewing Scary Movie 5. Um, you guys will have to bear with me. I am dealing with allergies. Um, it's starting to become that time of the year, and of course, we're going to be dealing with... Um, uh, we're going to be dealing with uh, the summertime pretty soon. So this usually happens like once or twice a year. Um, sometimes it's in the fall, sometimes it's in the spring. So... Yeah, it sucks, um, but uh, I'm going to try to get through it as best as I can. So, so Scary Movie 5, by far the worst out of the entire series. Uh, this was released in 2013, which is crazy. We're on, what, 11 years since it was released. Um, it's rated PG-13. They went the PG-13 route, which I don't understand why. The cast has some familiar faces as well as some new additions. So Simon Rex returns. We have Ashley Tisdale from High School Musical. We have Charlie Sheen making a return. We have Lizzie Lohan. Uh, Daryl Hammond returns. We haven't seen him since the third one. Uh, Snoop Dogg, the late great Mac Miller. Uh, Molly Shannon returns. Terry Crews. Uh, Tyler Posey. Uh, Sarah Highland, uh, Cat Williams, uh, Heather Locklear, uh, Jerry O'Connell of all people, Kate Walsh, and Mike Tyson, to name a few. Uh, some familiar faces returning, while we also have a bunch of new uh, newcomers. Uh, so the films that this movie spoofs are Paranormal Activity, which makes sense, Black Swan, don't know why, uh, Mama, another horror film, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Why? It's called Scary Movie. It's not an action movie. It's not a drama. It's Scary Movie. Your whole thing is spoofing horror films. Uh, so, yeah, we got that. Uh, Sinister makes sense. Inception. Ted, which apparently Ted uh, was part of the unrated release that they spoof. It wasn't in the rated version. Don't know why. That's kind of weird. Evil Dead, The Cabin in the Woods, um, Insidious, and The Help. Why The Help? Why Ted? Why Inception? Why Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Or, uh, no, is it Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Or just the planet? Yeah. Yeah, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Um, I get all the Planet of the Apes movies confused. Um, I just, I don't understand why a lot of these movies spoof felt like, especially when we get into the later ones, why are they spoofing films that have nothing to do with the horror franchise? Thriller, uh, sci-fi, action, drama, none of those should be spoofed. The whole point of Scary Movie is the... You know, the title, scary, horror, you know, that's what the first two did. Why are we getting all these other ones? Um, so this film, I think, focuses more on the Black Swan film. That's kind of what it, what it spoofs more of. That and I think uh, Paranormal Activity are like the two with a little bit of Mama. And then everything else is just kind of blended in. Um, we don't have Regina Hall or Anna Faris returning, and I'm glad they didn't because even if they returned, I don't even think this movie would have worked. Um, it just feels like it's all over the place. Snoop Dogg and Mac Miller have a few scenes together, um, and everybody just kind of shows up. This movie, who, oh, where, I don't even know how to start. Um, I think the acting is awful in this. I feel like this movie was like everybody just got into a room and was like, Hey, let's just make a scary movie uh, five and let's just, just do random stuff. Cause that's what it seems like. It seems like this film is just nothing but randomness. Uh, Simon Rex, and Ashley Tisdale are the two main leads. They're kind of the love interests. You could tell right away that they got Ashley Tisdale to kind of replace Anna Ferris. I mean, it's a given. Um, and the fact that Simon Rex returns, I, I, if I was him, I would have just not even come back. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, it was cool to see some of the familiar faces return, like Daryl Hammond uh, returning. 
uh, and then a few other ones. But like everybody else, like come on, if you know how, like, does anybody in Hollywood like have common sense when it comes to these spoof films? Like, like let's be honest. If you did a scary movie prior and you know it did not do well. Why would you even bother going and doing another one? Unless the studio paid them like really good money to have a couple scenes. Okay, I get it. Or if they were doing a favor to someone who is in, you know, who worked on like the production of the other films or has a friend who loves the, the franchise, regardless of how bad they are. I get the actor kind of doing a favor. I get that. But man, this was just absolutely awful. The story is garbage. Uh, you, they, like I said, the acting is just atrocious. Um, a lot of the jokes don't, you know, they fall flat. And there may be like one or two scenes, maybe even three or four, that I do laugh at. But other than that, I just, nothing clicks. It's just not funny. I think this was more of the cash grab. Um, I mean, I did, was not a fan of 4 and 3, but at least 4 and 3 had a story, and they did the best they could. But with this, it was just, I don't even know why they called it Scary Movie. This could have just been another name and been your typical average spoof film, like Disaster Movie, Epic Movie, and things like that. And I think it would have worked probably better that way. Um, but yeah, I... <laughs> There's not really anything great to say this. I feel bad for like all the actors, including Ashley Tisdale. I feel like they just needed another blonde to fill in the spot because Anna Ferris did not return and Regina Hall didn't return. I my guess would be they were done with this franchise, probably for numerous reasons. You know, the franchise not doing so well after the first two, the scripts being god awful. And kind of going in a completely opposite direction compared to the first two. So now that we have Scary Movie 6 in the works. And there is that possibility of the original cast returning. Um, I'm a little nervous. I really hope history does not repeat itself. If they are going to reboot the franchise. And we are going to get a, a sixth installment. Then the wings shine. And Marlon have to return. Anna Ferris and Regina Hall have to return. They are the ones that made these movies. Keenan Ivory Wayne needs to return. You have to have a good majority of the original cast involved. If you want to work a deal out to get everybody out that has been in previous films throughout the franchise to make small appearances, little cameos, or give them more screen time, in the in this possible reboot, then I'm fine with that. I don't care if we end up having ten scare movie films, but you got to do it right and give everybody what they want. I feel like if Scary Movie three, four, and five would have had the Wayne's brothers, if Keenan and Ivory Wayne's did return to write the script for the other three films, I feel like those Scary Movie three through five would have been great spoof films. Let's go back and focus on the horror film aspect. That's what you're spoofing. Let's not add, oh, well, we're going to add this action film, this drama, this, you know, whatever. So please, for the love of God, get everybody back. I feel like that's the only way this is going to succeed. But I'm sure once we hear who the cast is going to be, once we hear the announcement of the cast and who's going to be in the film, I can tell you right, tell you right now, if I don't hear any of the Wayne's brothers involvement or Anna Ferris or Regina Hall, it's not going to do well. I won't even see it. Um, so we need them back. I feel like the franchise could survive if they're back because they, they made the first two well, great as they are. Um, and, Three, you could say it's questionable, same with four, but I don't care for those movies. <laughs> Excuse me. But I wish I could say more about this movie. Um, it's it, there, There's not a whole lot to say. It's a forgettable sequel. I mean, like I said, even though I'm not a fan of three and four, at least three and four had something going for themselves. They had a story. And yeah, you had two big names th from you know, throughout the franchise. So with them not returning, you can see that there are issues. And I feel like 
naming it Scary Movie 5 was not the proper way. It was just another cash grab, kind of similar to like the Hellraiser films where a lot of scripts that were made were not Hellraiser films. They were changed to be Hellraiser films. Um, so yeah, I just... It's just one I would say, just avoid it. If you're curious of going through the entire franchise, then go ahead, definitely do it. But uh, yeah, I would avoid this one at all costs. You're, you're, yeah, like I said, three and four are not great, but they're watchable. And to some extent, um, you know, they do have some decent story. For me, I won't rewatch them. I just don't care for them. Um, I think as we get older, we get a little wiser, and a lot of things don't aren't always that great like they used to be um, or as funny. So, but you know, it's always at least giving a film a watch at least once is always worth it, of course. And that's what I did with this. I gave it a watch uh, once. Um, well, the first time I gave it a, like two or three watches and then this one. Um, and then after that, like, I think I, th I think I've watched it four times throughout the entire, throughout the 10 years, 11 years now that we're in 2024. And, I've had to dissect the film a little bit and go back and, you know, re look, kind of revisit some scenes um, that I may have not gotten at the first time, like the jokes and stuff. And yeah, it's just, but when I recommend for anybody to at least watch a film once, um, I'm always going to recommend that with any film out there, even the bad films, because we got to kind of give our own opinion. I mean, you know, I've got to review bad films once in a while. If we don't review them, then, uh, you know, what do we have to talk about? Um, but if you guys enjoyed my review of some sort for uh, uh, this film, please let me know what you're, you know, give it a like first and foremost and uh, comment down below and then hit the subscribe button for more content. Um, dealing with these allergies. So my mind is a little, all over the place. Uh, I haven't really had the energy. Um, well, one, I'm tired. Uh, and two, just, you know, I'm just don't want to overdo myself, especially with allergies. Cause you know, allergies can take a lot out of you. Um, but I will state this. If you guys enjoyed the scary movie franchise reviews and you guys would like to see me review more spoof movies, let me know. Um, I would not mind reviewing more of these spoof films. There are a lot out there. Um, eventually, I need to pick up pretty much a lot of the ones um, that are out there. Like, I don't have Top Secret. I don't have the Police Academy. Um, or not Police Academy. Yeah, Police Academy are spoof films, aren't they? Uh, well, to some extent, they're spoof films. But not. I'm confusing Police Academy. With the Naked Gun. Um, the Naked Gun films I don't have. Um, what else is there? There's um, uh, Meet the Spartans, Disaster Movie, and things like that. Which I probably, to be quite honest with you, I probably won't even buy those. I'll try to find a way to view those. Um, but I definitely would like to buy uh, Top Secret. I think that got a Blu-ray release a couple of years ago. Um, I know the Naked Gun Films have Blu-ray releases. I think the first one has a 4K release. Um, there's another spoof film that I would like to revisit. Of course, Airplane. Those have Blu-ray releases. Um, there's a spoof film at the top of my head, and I can't think of it. Hot Shots. Love the Hot Shot uh, films. I don't think those have a Blu-ray release. Uh, they may actually, I think they may have a Blu-ray release overseas, like a UK release, I think. I'll have to look into that. May have to import those uh, down the road. Maybe get a uh, region free player. But uh, I'm trying to see if I have any other spoof films. I have a couple DVDs where I'm looking at. I don't think I see any. No, I don't. So, yeah. So, pretty much, I think the only spoof film I have is Scary Movie. And then... Um, you know, anything Mel Brooks has done. Um, and I'll probably end up doing, well, no, actually, I think I reviewed pretty much the Mel Brooks films that I have. Um, but yeah, I, I wish I could say more. I don't want to make this video too long and get way off topic. But yeah, if you guys seen Scary Movie 5, 
please share your opinion. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think of this movie. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I am Film Talk with Mikey. Till next time, guys, we will talk films, and I will see you soon. Take care, and uh, have a good one. Peace.